Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look actually at another game show review real quick, and this is of the 70s NBC and syndicated game show Celebrity Sweepstakes, kind of uh, based on horse race betting. It uh, ran from April 1, 1974 to October 1, 1976 on NBC Daytime, uh, syndicated uh, September 1974 to September 1975, and September 1976 to September 1977. It aired either around noon or 9 or 10 in the morning. It had two different time slots in its run, and uh, it replaced a show called Baffle, and was replaced by Hollywood Squares in its new time slot on NBC. It followed the show uh, Jackpot, or uh, local uh, programming, and was followed by news and local programming or Wheel of Fortune. The host was Jim McCrell. The creator was uh, Ralph Andrews. The The main announcer, announcer was Bill Armstrong. Uh, production companies were Ralph Andrews Productions and Burt Sugarman Productions. Distributor was Carvel and 20th Century Fox TV. It was taped at NBC Studios in Burbank, California. And the main theme was by Stan Worth, but I guess there was also a version by Alan Thick. Here's how you play. Jim would read a question to the two contestants. I guess early on in the series there were three. Before the answer, the audience sets odds on the celebrities being able to answer the question correctly. Players normally bet $2, $5, or $10 of their uh, starting $20 on the star they thought could answer correctly. If a player had less than $2, they were given enough to make the minimum bet. A celebrity that missed the question cost the player the bet money. If they got it right, the odds times the money bet was awarded to the contestant. Picking the lowest odds celeb allowed a maximum bet of $100. Greg Malevi, Nipsey Russell, Deborah Lee Scott, Pat Cooper, and Alan Seuss. Here are the contestants, and the people who set the odds, our entire studio audience, every single one of them ready to play Celebrity Sweepstakes. And here's the host of Celebrity Sweepstakes, uh, uh, Jim McCrell. Thank you, Billy, and good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Good there morning. You are. All, morning. In, all in your places with bright shiny, shiny faces. faces. Our studio audience sets the odds on each question, and with, to help them with their decision, we've given them some tip sheets, just like this. Mm. And on that tip sheet, it says the star's strengths and their weaknesses. That's For example, how they do. it says right here, Greg Malavy can only pick up 130 pounds. That's what it says. That's all I can our contestants up. also have tip sheets, and while our stars know that well, some of our questions up, are based on the biographical information they produce as part of the program, the they are hearing the actual questions for the very first time. <laughs> right, stars? That's right! Uh, we start you off with $50. You can bet $2, $5, or $10 on any given question. If you want to bet on a favorite star with the lowest odds, you can bet up to $100 if you have the money. Anytime you drop to $10 or below, you can only bet two till we <laughs> fill it all back up again. <laughs> also, we set the odds on each category. Well, all set? Say? We're all set. Yeah. First category, definitions. Definitions. Definition. A definitive Definition. question. A definitive I question. question. I would say. Yeah. Long shot on definitions, Alan Sue. <laughs> Zoo? 42 to 1. Alan Sues, I said. Uh, it's even oh, money one to one. They call me Alan Sess. What? <laughs> How did they call me? They club and they called me Alan Sess. He said, now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll give you Alan Sess. Uh -huh. But I bombed, so I just left it at that. <laughs> In the honeybee world, the, the girl bees are called queens. What are the boy bees called? Dave? I'll bet ten dollars on Deborah Lee Scott. On Deborah Lee, Deborah Lee. What are the boy bees called? Aren't they um, God, I think uh, aren't they like worker bees? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> worker bees are the group that falls in the middle. Oh, is uh, it? God. They just work so hard they don't have time to fool around. Oh, is around. that? They don't have Hillary, time for a name. <laughs> that's right, Hillary. It's your turn. I'll bet ten dollars on Carol Wayne. On Carol, what are the boy <clears throat> bees called? Studs. <laughs> 
And if that doesn't buzz you, nothing will. What did you say, Carol? Drones. Drones is right. Hey, Jim. Yes, that's it. The bee is such a busy soul, he has no time for birth control. And that is why, in times like these, there are so many sons of bees. <laughs> Next category is word definition. Ah, the poet laureate of television, Nipsey Russell. <laughs> he was on a lot of game shows. After a certain amount of time, round two was played, and it was called the home stretch. Contestants can double their bet by picking a second celebrity that had the same answer, the same correct answer, if they so opted. Payout is doubled if the one celebrity picked was the only one with the right answer. Late and early in the series, all money bet was lost if the second celebrity was wrong. Uh, otherwise, in the series, the score was unchanged. Homer's bus. Aristotle contemplating the bus to moment. That's the end of round number one. Hillary has 1,060. Dave, our champion, 650. The home stretch coming right up. This is our celebrity sweepstakes home stretch round. And this round, each time our players win, they can double their winnings by picking a second celebrity who also has a correct answer. We again set the odds on the categories. Stars, I'll ask you to write down your answers. Religion. Mm. Religion is the category. Reli uh -oh. Uh -oh. Alan is the long shot at 99 to 1. I have my own religion, you know? <laughs> a couple of agnostics burned a question mark in front of his house. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the category. Here's the question, stars. Please write down your answers. Christians use the Bible. Jews have the Torah. What holy book do Muslims use? Oh, yeah. What is the holy book of the Muslims? You'll have ten seconds to write down your answer. All right, Hillary. Time's up. Pens down. I'll bet ten dollars on Pat Cooper. Pat? Oh gosh, I haven't been in church in years, honey. I took a crazy guess. I said the tablet. The tablet, no? <laughs> oh, that's good. I better take a tablet after that question. Well, kind of like a, like a Not even pill the pill. <laughs> Alan, what did you say? Rhythm. Oh, don't ask me. Well, he didn't ask me, did he? No. Yeah. I did. You did? Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to say. <laughs> did you say it, Say it, Alan. I say have it. To say. Yes, Nipsey. The Koran. Koran is right. Yeah. How many stars had the right answer? Oh. Nipsey and Greg, clear the boards. The next category is music. Music. Stars, according to the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, where were the pirates from? <laughs> according to the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, where were the pirates from? I can't spell this. <coughs> Carol, you've done something to your odds, love. They're 79 to 1. Deborah Lee is even money one to one. It's your bet, Dave. Oh, maybe, maybe you're wrong. I'll bet ten dollars on Greg. Ten on Greg at twenty-one to one. Greg? La da 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 da. Oh no, that's the wrong music. Right. No, I said the Pirates of Penza. Right. The what? Penza. Right. You know, I thought it was Ken Doyle. I thought it was good chip pepper. All right. Wait a second. We have a, a chance today for for Dave to pick up uh, extra uh, two ten. Pick another star, pick Dave. Up, pick up. Pat Cooper. Pat? Where are I the pirates? Penza. Penza is right. That's what I said. I started it. Yeah. All right. That's another 210. Right. Dave, you got uh, 1,070. You have the lead. Hillary has 1,050. How many? Round three was called All or Nothing. The final celebrity odds reflected how well they did that day. The more missed questions, <clears throat> the more missed questions increased the odds by one each. Odds went as high as five or maybe eight. Players secretly selected their celebs and can bet any or all money. A player who lost all their money to a bet won a consolation prize package worth around $1,000. Both players keep all their winnings. The top scorer returns as champ. If tied, both players return unless it's zero dollars. There were new players the next day. Early on, players would play until defeated. Later on in the series, it was three or five days. There was a new car given at every three or five wins, depending on when in the series. 
thank you very much. But it means nothing. Alan? Alan. Yes. Five to one. Yes. In which sport would you associate the terms fletch, knock, quiver, and recurve? Well, I would say because the quiver part, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was archery. Archery. Hillary, that's right. If you bet it all, love, you got $6,300. I bet it all. You got it. Dave, if you bet it all, $6,420. I bet it all. You got it. That's super. Yeah. Hillary, you got $6,300, love. Thank you. Dave, <laughs> my friend, for a captain of the United States Air Force. He could buy uh, his own army. You know it. Dave's got a grand total of $18,050. Wow. Congratulations. Good to see you. How many stars had the right answer? Yeah. That's a week's pay, huh? That's dynamite. Thank you all Would very you much. Would like to open a barn in Good. Let me, let me just say this very quickly, if I may. This is kind of the end of our fun here for a while. And there's several people... Don't get teary. I won't. Okay. Yeah. Try, try to you, keep the emotion out of your voice. I certainly will. <laughs> and uh, you try to be quiet. Um, <laughs> Mr. Nice I guy comes thank, through again. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very serious. I want to thank Ralph Andrews for uh, giving me this job to start us out. Bert Sugarman, who uh, has been a dear friend and uh, a very, very nice person. Dick McDonough, our director. Neil Marshall, who produced our show. Larry Hovis, Ken Slater, Jane Little, Mary Jane Trokel, all the people that have worked on it. And there's some stars that have been very special to me over the past mm -hmm. couple of years. Joey Bishop, Dick yeah. Martin, Dan Rowan, George Hamilton, James Ferentino, Michelle Lee, Jimmy That's Dan right. Don't Clifton. mention none of us. The, <laughs> 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 the people that have been up here, I, I've grown to know you and love you very much, and especially Pretty Carol. Love you, dear. See you right. tonight. See you later. <laughs> Thank you all. We hope to see you again. Bye bye. Someone in our audience will receive a live. Some final thoughts on Celebrity Sweepstakes. Perhaps later on in the series, $50 was given to the contestants to start instead of $20. Uh, Jim McCrell's only other uh, national TV game shows were The Game Game from 69 to 70, syndicated, and the new Quiz Kids in 1980. Though he hosted uh, a bunch of unsold pilots, he was also an announcer, an actor, uh, TV writer and producer. Uh, episode status, uh, Jim McCrell himself, I guess, stated that uh, most of the episodes were destroyed. Uh, a pilot and a final episode in full, which this uh, video took a lot of uh, footage from, uh, is floating around on YouTube, and I guess a, f a few others exist somewhere. There were a Japanese version of this called Quiz Derby from 1976 to 92, and a British version called The Sweepstakes Game in 1976. Notable celebrities on the show, there's Carol Wayne. She was on almost every episode, I think. Uh, she played a, a bimbo on uh, Johnny Carson's Tonight Show. She was a smart gal in real life. Uh, she died tragic tragically on... Uh, of a drowning in Mexico in the 80s. There's Joey Bishop, a uh, member of the Rat Pack. He was on a lot. There's Greg Malavy uh, from Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, and so was Deborah Lee Scott. She also died young, tragically. Also, uh, there's Alan Seuss from Laughing. Nipsey Russell, very funny guy. He was on a lot of game shows. Pat Cooper, comedian. Uh, John Aston of The Addams Family. Ted Knight of uh, Mary Tyler Moore Show and uh, Too Close for Comfort. Patty Duke from The Patty Duke Show and uh, The Miracle Worker. Dean Jones from a lot of uh, Disney movies. Christopher Stone, actor. Uh, he was the husband of Dee Wallace Stone, and there's uh, Virginia Graham, talk show host. Artie Johnson of Laughing. 
Darren McGavin of The Night Stalker and uh, A Christmas Story. Lynn Anderson singer, uh, I Never Promised You a Rose Garden. Jim Neighbors, Gomer Pyle, uh, also a great singer. Betty White, been a lot of stuff. Dan Rowan, and also his partner, Dick Martin from uh, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. George Hamilton, a uh, comic actor. James Farentino, actor. And his wife, Michelle Lee from Knott's Landing. But that was our look at Celebrity Sweepstakes, a game show from the 70s. Kind of interesting uh, show, a little, little bit different. Uh, Jim McCrell did a very good job as a host. Well, I thank you for watching Celebrity Sweepstakes, and I hope you join me soon for my next video, which should probably be game number one in our 20 from the Sega Master System series. Y'all have a good one, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.